one month on in September 2003 and we were travelling along the coast from Montego Bay to Trelawney, a Jamaican parish that had a reputation on the island for producing fast runners. Some said there was something special about the local honey that packed them full of energy. Whatever the reason, Usain Bolt was one of the most talented sprinters to have emerged from Trelawney in a long time. In 2002, then aged 15, and in front of adoring home fans in Kingston, Bolt became the youngest ever junior world champion when he won the 200 metres. His performances at the junior level had made him Jamaica's most exciting and popular athletics prospect. I really am proud of myself too for doing so well and making Jamaica proud. And I know Jamaica fans will always be behind me 100 percent So I just like thank them for everything they have done for me, from world juniors they have been keeping and been pushing me onwards. At this time, Bolt had recently graduated from his local high school, which meant an end to his relationship with Dwight Barnett, the school's sports teacher, who, as Usain's coach, had helped him begin realizing his potential. Given Bolt's age, Barnett had decided to limit his weight training to ensure his muscle development remained in harmony with his growing body. The flexibility work they concentrated on helped Usain make the most of one of his natural attributes, his height. My 200 style, and really I just sprint out to run the corners fast. That's the main thing in a 200 meter. But when I come off, I always try to get tall and get tall. When I get tall, I seem to go a little bit faster. Back then, some wondered if Usain's height, he was six foot four by the stage, might actually start to work against him, especially over 200 meters. But that wasn't a concern that Barnett shared. People saying that you're saying they'll be going tall, I don't think so. Um, people who are 6'9 tend to have a problem with the starting position in that um, they will get up too early. As a sprinter, you're saying it's just the right height, and I think that he'll be doing well for the future. Said, go. In 2003, Bolt was seen more as a 200 and 400 meter runner rather than a 100 and 200 sprinter. He was already being compared to one of his heroes, Michael Johnson, and the Jamaican teenager was flattered by the comparison. He's always relaxed, no matter what kind of pressure he's under. He always stays relaxed. Don't try to really do over anything different from his normal running plan. I just always watch that and I try to keep relaxed, just like him. With his incredible potential, the interest in a young Usain Bolt was growing at a real pace. While we were with him on the island, he filmed his scenes as the star in a Puma commercial. That's on action. You're going to look back. You keep your head forward. <laughs> Those around Usain were aware that if he continued to progress on the track, then he could expect more of these sort of engagements. But as Dwight Barnett told us, running would always be Bolt's top priority. He has to keep focused. That's one of the ma major things in terms of track and field. Um, people tend to drift. Um, once you're in it and you love it, I think you, you have to keep focused. Training is very important. A lot of people tend to drift away from training, but I want to tell you seeing that um, you will have to continue training and training very hard. If you want to see an awesome clip of a young Muhammad Ali, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. What do you have in the way of a little, uh, little Burma shave quatrain for uh, the forthcoming opponent? Oh, you mean the big ugly bear. 